Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Network Chuck. Uh, I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. I know you're here for the route group, route list, route pattern video part two. So if you haven't watched part one yet, check it out up here. This video is sponsored by INE, so thanks INE. INE is an amazing training partner for IT certifications. CCNA, CCMP, you wanna learn Python? They got Python, they got everything. In fact, I'm giving away a CCNA bundle right now. Um, it actually ends tomorrow, so if you're watching this, hurry up, sign up. I'll put a link below and a link up here. Anyways, guys, um, hope you enjoy part two. Check it out. So you know what? Enough theory. Let's dig in, let's get into CUCM, get our hands dirty. Let's configure a route list. All right guys, here we go, time to configure our route list. We've already configured our route groups, Luke and Leia. So now we gotta get our route list, our route list into play. Just one, I said route list, we're just doing route list. So we're gonna navigate over here to call routing, route hunt, and route list. Click find, we've got nothing here, nothing's been configured because that last guy was, he's gone. Click add new, let's throw a quick name in there. Call it Empire Route List, RL, Empire's Route List. Uh, we've only got one uh, CUCM group. Click save, and here's where the fun part is. So uh, as you can see, by default, the enable this route list is on. So we want that. What's not default is if you wanna run it on all the active unified CM nodes. In some environments, you may not want your route list to run on this. You may not want it to register with the CUCM. In this environment, we only have one, but I'll go ahead and check it just because in most environments, if you have a pub and a few subs, you'll want this to run on all your CM nodes to make sure you're fully redundant. And now we add our, our route groups. So go over here, click add a route group, and you see it takes us to another page, and this is where the fun stuff is. We'll select our route group. So we have Luke, we have Leia. Remember, Leia is gonna be our primary path out of here. First field here, uh, the use calling party's external phone number mask. What does that mean? So on any line on a phone, it's going to have an external phone number mask you configure. So it could be the full 10 digit number, it could be a, a wild card, and this tells the phone system to use that number as their caller ID when they call out. Most of the time you wanna leave that as default. Uh, the phone system defaults to on, and then if you left it off, you could go ahead and change uh, the calling party transformation mask, you could add your own stuff there. Most of the time you wanna leave this blank. And notice this is for our calling party transformation. So this is this this is Captain Tarkin calling from his Cisco phone out. This is what we're talking about here. His his information. Now here's the important stuff, the call party transformations. This is what's so cool about route list. Here we can take what we normally configure in the route pattern, which I'll show you here in a bit, and we can configure it right here per route group. Before we configure the digit manipulation, we have to know what our requirements are. So for our primary uh, gateway through Leia, the requirement is that we transform the number to E164. That basically means adding a plus one to it. It's an international way of dialing. It's, uh, I'll, I'll make a video about that. It's a whole thing. That's our requirement right now to get out to this PSTN. They accept numbers in the E164 format. It's our job to make sure we deliver the number in that way. And that's how we're going to use our route list. So what we'll do here is, um, and this is the most common usage you'll see here, is you'll discard digits, NAMP pre-dot. That NAMP stands for the North American uh, Numbering Plan, which is what I'm accustomed to. We'll go ahead and leave this blank because we want to leave the, the number coming at us uh, exactly the same, but we do want to prefix it with the plus one. And click save. So this route list, our Empire route list, we now have the Leia cube there, so we have the primary PSTN taken care of. What about our failover? What if this one goes down? Let's go ahead and add the other route group. This time we'll select Luke, leave everything default here. Uh, we'll also want to discard digits pre-dot because we're going to use one route pattern for both these PSTNs. Now, here's our other requirement. For this super weird, super expensive PSTN, they have weird requirements, right? This one, they wanted to prefix 818181 in front of the number when we send it out to them. Okay, whatever PSTN. But you know what? We can do that with a route list easily. So let's take care of that. So we'll prefix digits on outgoing calls 818181. Click save. Bam! Look at that. We now have our route list configured with both cubes in order. Now you can see we have two sets of arrows. I always go in here and click the wrong one. Um, these arrows down here will actually remove a cube from this group. You can also add it as well. This changes the order. 
So as it stands now, Leia will get the calls every single time unless she's down or the, the calls are busy or the, the maximum amount of paths have been met. So if there's the SIP sessions, we've maxed it out. Because typically a SIP trunk, you, you pay for a, a number of concurrent sessions. And uh, let's say for this example, we had 30 concurrent sessions and we went 31, we get a, a, an error back from our provider and we go out Luke instead. All right guys, time to pull this all together with the route pattern. Now, what is the route pattern? The route pattern is a way out. Within the CUCM cluster here, all this good stuff right here in the Death Star, calling is all internal, right? So if you wanna reach someone, all these routes are created automatically. So if Captain Tarkin wants to call the Stormtroopers, or if he wants to call the Dark Lords, or the, wants to call the Emperor or Darth Vader, he can just call within his calling search space and the partitions they've been assigned. There's no special patterns that have to be created. So if you go back and watch my calling search spaces and partitions video, you'll know exactly how I have all this good stuff configured. But for him to reach, Tatooine and schedule that much needed team building for the stormtroopers He's got to leave this system here and go over here, and that's what we do with the route pattern It's a way out so if we go back to our hierarchical view I hope that's a word I feel like I'm using it wrong. I feel like I'm not saying it right whatever who cares So if we go back to our view here the route pattern looks at a route list ba boom and then that route list will contain contain route groups which then contains our sip trunks which will get us to, da 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 da, horrible arrow, the PSTN. So basically, we've already set the groundwork for Captain Tarkin to go from here to here with the route group and the route list. But the route pattern tells us which calls should take that path. And it also tells Captain Tarkin which number to dial, what dialing habit, what dialing pattern he needs to dial. So in this situation, we got Moss Isley here at 777-005-0002. Do not try to dial that, it's not a real number. And he's going to match this pattern we will create. We're gonna have a pre-pended eight that'll signify that this is an external call. So the second he dials this eight, uh, the phone system will realize, hey, we're not dialing in the Death Star anymore. We're going to be going somewhere else. We're going to be going out, out of here. All right, time to get the hands dirty and check out this config. So we'll go over to call routing, route hunt, and route pattern. Here we go. Clicking find, I've got nothing but my SIP uh, route pattern for my, uh, for my voicemail trunk. So we'll go ahead and get one set up for Tatooine. We have our eight and our dot. All right, so this is the pattern we're gonna have Captain Tarkin dial. Once this pattern is matched, boom, it's gonna route out the route list. So the route partition, which if you go back and watch my video on calling search spaces and partitions, this is how we control who can dial this. We're gonna throw this in the Tatooine partition, label this here. We'll label whatever we want in the description, really up to you, All right? And uh, we'll go ahead and select our route list here our empire route list. Um, everything else you can pretty much leave as default. Now, I mentioned that on a route pattern, you can do digit manipulation. So we could discard the digits right here. We can do the same NAMP pre-dot. We could uh, add the 818181 for the path out Luke, or we could add the plus one, the path out Leia. Uh, but you know, then we'd have to create multiple route patterns. Like I said before, the beauty of a route list is we don't have to do that. So. We just create one route pattern, matching this, we have our route list, and we're done. And that's it. So let me show you the best thing you will ever learn on Call Manager, and that's the route plan report. I use this a thousand times a day, so let's go check it out. You go to Call Routing, Route Plan Report. Here is where you search for everything. So let's search by partition, and we'll just type in contains Tatooine. Now check this out. Just from this view, we can see everything we've configured so far. So here's our route pattern. Bam. So when Captain Tarkin dials this number, we see that's gonna match the Empire route list. And then we see that's gonna hit the Leia cube first, and then the Luke cube. And these right here are the route groups. So I can click on them right here. Bam, go right into them. It's amazing. What's not amazing is that back button. So there you have it. We've configured our route pattern, a route list, and a route group. Now, what do you say we uh, test it out? Let's have some fun with that. All right, so we're gonna do a quick test 
just to see how it's flowing. So I'm going to show you my screen here. So I've actually got two cube routers in GNS3, which is awesome. So if you want to do a lab, great way to do it. So you can see right there, I just actually had a SIP registration message. All right, so you see we got Leia and we've got Luke. Remember, Leia is our primary. And she's going to have the number sent to her with a plus one. So let's see if that works. All right, so let's, uh, let's do a test. Your call cannot be completed in style. Woo! Please consult your direct look at that. Now, you heard that message from my phone because I don't actually have a PSTN set up. But look at this. The invite comes in. Bam. That's the number. So that's this is the number I dialed with the 8 in front of it. It stripped the 8, added a plus 1. Awesome. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to switch the priority. I'm going to make Luke the primary. We'll save that, reset, just to make sure everything's good to go. So let's see if our secondary PSTN will have the 818181 pre-pended uh, because of our route list configuration. So let's try that out. The call cannot be completed Whoa, would Please you look at that. And call again. Bam. So look here. You can see, already see right here that it's pre-pinned. If we go to the top and go to our invite, there it is. The number I dialed and then 818181 pre-pinned. So we did all of this with just one route pattern. The route list is incredible. So now Captain Tarkin, he can dial with ease. So when he picks up his phone, he dials 8777. And actually, I need to change this 0 to like a 3 or something because that's not going to work because of our pattern, so you notice it's only a two through nine on that, and I just marked right through that. It's only a two through nine through for the uh, fourth digit, but anyways. So he dials eight, seven, 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 zero, zero, uh, three, zero, zero, uh, blah, blah, three, zero, five, zero, 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 two. That's going to match, that is going to hit our empire route list. It's going to go through to Leia with a plus one prepended and we're good to go and should anything fail because things do it'll route out the secondary with no problems at all so now you have saved the empire for the time being you saved us so we're not going to be forced choke like the last collaboration engineer they now have access to the outside the stormtroopers can now uh, uh, have their their team building exercise at the Moss Isley Cantina and all is right with the world Thank you for helping me. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about collaboration if you are not already in this. If you're studying for your search or you're a collaboration engineer, then I'm hoping this helps you. This is something I picked up from my studies, from day to day, and um, hopefully it helps you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, we, we're at 7,500 now, so that's amazing. Thank you so much for sticking with me. The giveaway is ending on the 15th at 11.59 p.m. Central. So if you haven't already entered to win the CCNA INE giveaway, enter there. I'll put a, there'll be a link below. Well, anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get certified together. Catch you next time. So yeah, if you want to uh, be like Walter, if you want to make coffee like Walter White, this is what you do.